Number coming in as we see David Horsey now going for broke. This one looking good as well, Richard. Yeah, it's all on the first bounce. Probably in between clubs, really, for Horsey, between driver and three, but not as long as Jordan Smith, but that'll be just fine. He'll have his work cut out to two putt, but a fine tee shot, nevertheless. A little bit downhill as well, Wally. I would say he probably spends more time on the putting green than anyone. Very efficient on the short grass. Perfect pendulum motion. This is as good as it gets. Watch the hands, no deviation at all. Nicely done, nice touch. And that's probably why he hasn't had a single bogey so far this week, David Horsey. Nine under now. Don't be pitching this all the way up there. It's water long. Very narrow target where this flag is at the back. He was hoping that would jump, but got too much control there down there. The second half is going to start moving from right to left. Hmm, slight misread there. Horsey thought it was going to keep turning left. It just moved to the right, last few feet. He gave himself some, himself some lengthy putts. He's going to create all his skills here. This is a solid five for David Horsey. Seems to have been working on his downswing for about two seasons, Horsey. And it seems to be coming together. That's exactly where he was looking. That's all you need to do at five. There's no point in looking for the pin. And he's tucked away. Normally, normally an excellent pitching game, David Horsey. For distance. Got a good chance here if it gets through the fringe nicely. Stays a nine under. That's where you want to be aiming. That's your bail out, like, if anything, with this tight pin on the right. in the air that tee shot from Horsey right at it yeah, this one's tracking oh he's only ever going one direction and it goes it was coming it's been coming for for a good half an hour or so every putt he's hit has just gone past the hole by a couple of feet pitch this just off the green and will feet down about that not quite sure that's what he was intending but he got away with it didn't he just caught the fringe I think on the upslope and killed it a little bit of a, a, bit of a wry smile yeah, golf shot there seen a lot of front right flags early on on this front nine so really picking one one and a half up on the field horse see if he can roll this one in the line, didn't he? Yeah, really good pickup. Out of a tough, tough lie. Managed to find the short stuff as well. A well played second. Early putt for David Horsey. Never in doubt, was it? Quite a good angle for David Horsey here, coming straight down. Throw of it. Trying to get everything he can out of that eight iron. Just rip through that. Does he have enough? Needs a bounce and gets it. And that's a classy shot. That's well worked out. There you go. He works with Phil Kenyon, and a few of us do work with that putting coach. And 
He's the benchmark, Dave Horsey. All his numbers are so good. Basically, Phil Kenyon says you want to be like him. Eight iron here for David Horsey. I feel or maybe just thump a nine. How's your adrenaline feeling after that birdie on the last? Well, that one nearly had me on the head. Yeah, you can see the ball of hit here there. That's not far away, is it, after the hold out at the previous hole? David Horsey, very good chipper of the ball. Kenny trying to do some leasing around the edge of the green. He sees those so well, he sees them always, almost as a long putt. Coming out of the rough, tough to get the control. Has to send it high, won't be able to generate as much spin. Carry that bunker. That's exactly what he needed to do there. Don't mess with anything short. End over end. That ball just keeps on tracking, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I've played foursomes with Dave Horsey and I, I drew the line on the ball. I threw it at him, threw it at him. He looked at me, threw the ball back and said, if you're not going to draw the line on properly, we're not using it. Yeah, pretty well judged. It's got an easy flag for a draw of the ball. It's exposed from 16, so he's getting a good idea. It's off the left. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's the one he doesn't like, that kind of high off the face to the right-hand side. He just drops it a bit underneath. Pressure being out there with A Force to read inputs because you know he doesn't often misread them. So well read there, John. Yeah, fine shot with the six iron. Kept it away from the left side of the green. Well done, David Horsey. Yeah, lengthy number straight up the hill here, Wooly. Break off the left, I feel. Yeah, you both read that well. Just lacked a bit of pace, but a good putt. This time of the day on a Saturday afternoon, it's just nice to get them dead. Probably just looking a fraction left. Doesn't really want a short side himself. That's a brave shot. Didn't really want to mess around with the front of the green in case he didn't get a bounce. No harm done going long. Into the breeze here at 18, par five. Of course he works very hard in the gym also. Ah, just got no bounce there whatsoever. That was unlucky actually. He might be playing a slightly different hole. Dave Horse is not going to want to see that start, is he? 51 yards. Yeah, just going for the layup here, Sophie. Yeah, about 200, leave himself a good yardage in. He's just done just that, and we're pretty much in the drop zone. Now, David Horsey with one of the best wedge games around. He was always pin high. Yeah, good shot. follows him in 64 which means there's a little bit of a gap between the top two and the rest okay so 64 tell us about it how pleased are you with that yeah it's um i didn't play great to be honest I didn't really hit it in the fairway enough back nine but hold some nice putts and 
that's what you got to do at the end of the day. It's all about the score, and um, yeah, I managed to, to post a good one today. I think you went something like was it 41 holes without a bogey. Yeah, I did actually think of it. I didn't think about that at the start, to be honest, but when I made that bogey, I did think, oh yeah, that is my first one now. But um, yeah, put that to the back of my mind and birdied the next, and yeah, just sort of cracked on sometimes. Those things are nice to get out of the way, if you like, and uh, you can just get on with any without any distractions. Yeah, you rolled some nice putts in there, and there's a few smiles of joy that did seem to be working off each other is that right is that nice when that happens yeah it is yeah i got get on well with smithy and um yeah it's, it was nice to sort of see both of us really making plenty of birdies which you know is nice this golf course it's quite tricky you know there's a bit of breeze out there today but there's plenty of birdies out there so uh, hopefully we can continue it tomorrow okay i've looked at recent form okay what's <laughs> Not much to talk about <laughs> what's clicked uh it's, i've been i've been playing all right for a while um the swing's really feeling, has been feeling great in practice and it's sometimes hard to sort of take to the course. I have spells where I'll make three or four or five birdies in a row and then but I'll just have other spells where I'll make three or four bogeys. So sort of having the trust and belief in it's really been the, the difficulty. Um, and yeah, just sort of went out there the last few days really and just sort of tried to focus on myself and, and just keep it in shots. Um, less expectation, I suppose, as well. Um, yeah, and, and holding a few putts, like I said. Finally, it's been a while between drinks, isn't it, since the wins? You're in contention, which is where any professional golfer wants to be, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This is the, the sort of, um, this is the proper, this is the place to be, if you like. And to have a chance to win come Sunday um, is always nice. And yeah, go and play golf tomorrow, see what happens, and um, hopefully you can do enough. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.